Hi everybody, Mom's Kitchen is back. In today's recipe, we are going to show you Elish Paturi or that's Hilsa fish wrapped in pumpkin leaf. In this particular recipe, we'll be steaming the Hilsa fish along with rice. So stay tuned. And I would like to mention that we have really missed you guys while we were away. But we are here now and let's continue with the recipe. So here are our cleaned Hilsa fish pieces and the green chilies. And above them we have the cleaned dried pumpkin leaves. Make sure you wash the pumpkin leaves gently. Now we have got a roll of thread, mustard oil, and here is salt and some grated coconut. And above this we have some poppy seeds or posto. Next to this you can see we have some mustard powder. Traditionally they grind the mustard seeds on stone but we can buy it in any store nearby. So for the marinade, add the poppy seeds into the blender, followed by the grated coconut and some of the green chilies. Followed by some salt for taste. Add some water so that it forms a smooth paste instead of making it too dry. Blend it till you find the poppy seeds are not too grainy. For the final marinade, you'll be taking some of the paste in the bowl and adding the mustard powder as shown. Followed by some mustard oil and mix this well until it looks like this. Now you place the pumpkin leaf and add the paste we made just now. Place the fish piece above this and add some paste above this side also. Be generous with the paste. Then pour some mustard oil over this. And finally one slit chili. Observe the wrapping carefully. Fold the corners of the leaf onto the fish as shown. We have to ensure that the complete marinade does not leak out of the leaf. So to be double sure, we'll be placing another leaf underneath this and place the earlier wrap inverted above this. Wrapping on the second leaf would be easier. Here to fold the corners of the second leaf as shown. The leaves fold easily but you have to be careful not to tear them. So be gentle and circle around this wrap using the thread as shown. Tying with the thread will ensure that your wrap doesn't open while you're cooking it. Make one knot and circle around the other sides as well so that the wrap is secure and make two knots in the end and cut off the excess thread. Here too, while you're circling the thread around the leaf, you should be careful not to tear the leaf. Yeah, and the excess thread as you can see is being cut off. We are showing just one of the wraps being made. The remaining can be done in the similar manner. The other fish pieces also have been wrapped as shown. Take rice for your family's one time consumption. Add sufficient water to cook this. Add the paturi in the cooker as shown above the rice. I'm saying to take the rice for one time consumption because if your paturi releases some flavors of the fish into the rice, that's going to taste good with your paturi alone. So here's the fourth fish piece which we have made and that's it. We'll be closing the cooker now and cooking the rice. On high heat after one single whistle, our rice is cooked. After the cooker's pressure has lowered, you can open the lid and take out the paturi from the cooked rice as shown. Don't worry about some rice being stuck to the leaves because you are going to have this anyway with the rice. Here are 
the removed pieces of paturi from the rice. Before serving, just cut off the threads and remove them so that it's easier to eat. It's lunch time for us and we can't wait to dig in but we have to show you what we have made. So opening it and showing you what's inside. For those of you who may not know, the leaves along with the marinade are mixed with the rice and the fish is had along with it as a side. There are a lot of flavors exchanged here from the fish, the marinade, the leaves, the rice. It was quite delicious. Like I said earlier, we have really missed you guys and we have missed sharing recipes with you while we were away for a bit. Do try out this recipe if you can and communicate with us in the comments. Do share it with your friends. If